We present Primary Mathematics for Standard 7 Pupils. In the studio is the radio teacher and two Standard 7 pupils, Kipto and Nekesa. Welcome to the program. Hello Standard 7 pupils, in this program we are going to learn about perimeter of circles, triangles and quadrilaterals. Kipto, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the total distance round any figure along its edges. That is correct Kipto. Perimeter is the total distance round any figure or shape along its edges. Class, what is the other name of the perimeter of a circle? Give the answer to your teacher. Nekesa, what is the name of the perimeter of a circle? The perimeter of a circle is called circumference. That is correct, Nekesa. Class, did you say circumference? Good. The perimeter of a circle is called the circumference. Circumference is the distance round a circle. Class, what is the name given to a straight line that passes through the center of a circle and touches the circumference at two points? Give the answer to your teacher. Keep tall. What is the name of the straight line that passes through the center of a circle and touches the circumference at two points? It is called diameter. That is correct, keep tall. Class, did you say diameter? Good. A diameter is a straight line passing through the center of a circle, dividing the circle into two equal parts. These two parts are called semicircles. Class, what is the formula for getting the circumference of a circle? Give the answer to your teacher. Nekesa, what is the formula for getting the circumference of a circle? The formula is circumference is equal to pi multiplied by diameter. That is correct, Nekesa. Class, did you say circumference is equal to pi multiplied by diameter? Good. Circumference of a circle is given as pi d where d is the diameter of the circle and the value of pi is 22 over 7 or 3.14. Circumference is also equal to 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the circle. Class, what is the circumference of a circle whose diameter is 14 centimeters? Take pi as 22 over 7. Give the answer to your teacher. Keep tall. What is the circumference of a circle whose diameter is 14 centimeters? The circumference of the circle is 44 centimeters. Good, keep tall. Class, did you get 44 centimeters? Good. To get circumference of the circle, we multiply pi, which is 22 over 7, by the diameter, which is 14 centimeters. That is, 22 over 7 
multiplied by 14 centimeters, which gives us 44 centimeters. Class, what is the circumference of a circle whose radius is 21 centimeters? Take pi to be 22 over 7. Give the answer to your teacher. Nekesa, what is the circumference of a circle whose radius is 21 centimeters, taking pi as 22 over 7? The circumference is equal to 132 centimeters. That is correct, Nekesa. Class, did you get 132 centimeters? Good. When given the radius, we use the formula circumference is equal to 2 pi r, which gives the circumference to be 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 21 centimeters, which is equal to 132 centimeters. Teacher, draw a semicircle whose diameter is 35 centimeters on the chalkboard. Class, what is the perimeter of the semicircle? Give the answer to your teacher. Keep to. What is the perimeter of a semicircle whose diameter is 35 centimeters? The perimeter is 90 centimeters. Good, keep to. Class. Did you get 90 centimeters? Good. The perimeter of a semicircle is made up of the curved part and the diameter. The curved part is half the circumference, that is, a half pi d, which is a half multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 35 centimeters, which is equal to 55 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of the semicircle is 55 centimeters plus 35 centimeters, which is equal to 90 centimeters. Let us consider the perimeter of a triangle. Class, what is a triangle? Give the answer to your teacher. Nekesa, what is a triangle? A triangle is a three-sided figure. Good, Nekesa. Class, did you say a triangle is a three-sided figure? Good. There are four types of triangles, namely right-angled, isosceles, equilateral, and scalene. Class, what is the perimeter of a triangle whose sides are 10 centimeters, 8 centimeters, and 6 centimeters? Give the answer to your teacher. Keep to. What is the perimeter of a triangle? whose sides are 10 centimeters, 8 centimeters, and 6 centimeters. The perimeter of the triangle is 24 centimeters. That is correct, keep tall. Class, did you get 24 centimeters? Good. We add the lengths of the three sides of the triangle to get the perimeter. In this case, the perimeter of the triangle is 10 centimeters plus 8 centimeters plus 6 centimeters, which gives us 24 centimeters. Teacher, write the following question on the chalkboard. The two sides of a triangle 
are 15 centimeters and 25 centimeters. The perimeter of the triangle is 60 centimeters. What is the length of the third side? Class, work out the question and give the answer to your teacher. Nekesa, what is the length of the third side? The third side of the triangle is 20 centimeters. That is correct, Nekesa. Class, did you get 20 centimeters? Good. The perimeter of the triangle is 60 centimeters. The sum of the two sides of the triangle is 15 centimeters plus 25 centimeters, which is equal to 40 centimeters. Therefore, the length of the third side is the difference between 60 centimeters and 40 centimeters, which is 20 centimeters. Class, what is the perimeter of an equilateral triangle whose sides are 13 centimeters? Give your answer. To the teacher. Keep to. What is the perimeter of an equilateral triangle of sides 13 centimeters? The perimeter of the triangle is 39 centimeters. That is correct, keep to. Class. Did you get 39 centimeters? Good. An equilateral triangle has all sides equal. The perimeter of the triangle is 13 centimeters plus 13 centimeters plus 13 centimeters, which is equal to 39 centimeters. Class, name some of the four sided figures you know. Give your answer to the teacher. Nekesa, name some of the four-sided figures you know. We have squares, rhombuses, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezia. That is correct, Nekesa. Class, did you mention squares, rhombuses, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezia? Good. In a plane, four-sided figure or shape is called a quadrilateral. Let us start with a square. It has all its four sides equal. Class, what is the perimeter of a square whose side is 15 centimeters? Give the answer to your teacher. Keep to. What is the perimeter of a square whose side is 15 centimeters? The perimeter of the square is 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters, which gives us 60 centimeters. That is correct, Kipto. Class, did you get 60 centimeters? Good. The perimeter of the square is 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters plus 15 centimeters, plus 15 centimeters, which is equal to 15 centimeters multiplied by 4, which gives us 60 centimeters. Class, what is the length of the sides of a square whose perimeter is 72 centimeters? Give the answer to your teacher.
Nekesa, what is the length of the sides of the square? The length is 72 centimeters divided by 4, which is equal to 18 centimeters. That is correct, Nekesa. Plus, did you get 18 centimeters? Good. Perimeter of a square is length multiplied by 4. If the perimeter is 72 centimeters, then length divided by 4 is equal to 72 centimeters divided by 4 to give 18 centimeters. Let us now work out the perimeter of a rhombus. Teacher, draw a rhombus on the chalkboard. Class, what do you note about the sides of a rhombus? Keep tall. What do you note about the sides of a rhombus? A rhombus has four equal sides. That is correct, Kipto. Class, a rhombus has four equal sides, and the opposite sides are parallel. Class, what is the perimeter of a rhombus whose sides measure 12 centimeters? Give the answer to your teacher. Nekesa, what is the perimeter of a rhombus whose sides measure 12 centimeters? The perimeter of the rhombus is 48 centimeters. That is correct, Nekesa. Class, did you get 48 as the perimeter of the rhombus? Good. Since all the sides are equal, perimeter is equal to 4 multiplied by length, which is equal to 12 centimeters multiplied by 4, which gives us 48 centimeters. Both the square and the robbers have four equal sides. A trapezium is another four-sided figure in which one pair of opposite sides are parallel and not equal. Teacher, draw a sketch of a trapezium on the chalkboard. Class, what is the perimeter of a trapezium whose parallel sides are 26 centimeters and 18 